thousand chaps. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all doing good. Sad day for um, the Queen's funeral. But anyway, I'm going to speak about that. I'm going to speak about how I'm feeling. Um, terrific. It's destroying me today. But after that, I've noticed lately, see when you're not abusing drugs, obviously you notice all kinds of what's going on in the body. You back away heat. But you also notice all the damage that's been done. For Tom's sake, memory loss. I'm struggling in a way. My memory is fucked. I'll give you a prime example. Last week with the cashing, I used the same number for years. Just goes right in my head. Bear in mind, I used it the day before. I could remember it. Strange. So, I put the, the number in twice for one of my attempts where he bought. So I thought, ah, I know it. Put it in, bang, bought. I said, fuck. So I had to go out in the bank on Saturday, blah, blah, blah. Well, on Friday, last Friday, I should say. And the care sent out, the woman says, spend the bank. Do you still know your pin? That's a silly question. Considering I just bought the fucking thing. Me being stupid, I says, aye, I bought it and then I remembered it. Which I thought I did. So I got a new care sent out. Fucking bought the bastard and again. Also, I tell you, I have no, I put the ring pin in twice. But one of my pals, who, him and his brother, used to be mixed martial arts, he fought Fulton Bell and talk, etc. And he reckons it's what he's boasting me. You know, only photo, I can argue with that and say. Maybe it's got something to do with 18 years of abuse that you've done your, your body and your brain. But I did. Hey, I want to boast that he the last three years, well, if you're from 30, has been neat because I've put my head twice in fucking 45 minutes of two metal poles, been slashed my head, but probably it won't last 30 seconds if I just shut my mouth and stop saying pussies, shite bags, girls, blouses, etc. So, aye, that's why I think it's, it has its impact on me as well. But, um, struggling wise, I'm better than what I was a couple of weeks ago, but I'm still. But I put it this way, I'm not doing fucking cartwheels and hand, handstands and somersaults and fucking other men with the way my life is because there's all this stuff behind the scenes that I wouldn't speak about in camera. I wouldn't speak about period, but it's so destroying to know that I can come to but like you know, I come to especially with folk that are supposed to be a closest. That's all I say in that matter. But um, no, that could be a best friend, it could be a family relative, it could be, you know, it could be anything. But sometimes you say to yourself, Ken, how can things get to the point to? But anyway, I'm just here to let you know I'm alive, I'm fine. I'm stressed, not sitting with you last week. They've all been released a few months better now. I'm supposed to be back training this week, but we'll be getting the rest of the weekend, I should say. But for the for the new fucking crab as fuck, I could just go mad because my fucking toothache is killing me. So I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. Hey, sorry, Tuesday. And tomorrow. Um, or Tuesday. See, I mean, it's fucking up my arse. It's my memory. My memory loss is real. So go and take drugs. We got out here, Billy Lemmer. Take drugs. What if Billy did make it 10 fucking times or worse? Now I make videos. To try and let folk to try to spread awareness. You just take them however you want to take them. At the end of the day, it's not a good fucking model for kids to grow up in. They need somebody to make fucking videos. They need to learn a wee bit. I mean, when I was younger, I was watching me and Galvin all the way. I loved all his interviews. Because that's what I was into at that age. Now, I want to spread awareness and want to try and help folk. Now, I don't mean actually going to physically help them. But someone watch a video, you can learn from mistakes. That's that makes me happy. Well, if you're not getting person. But anyway, I'm going to walk you some ladies, and uh, I'm not going to be talking about any more of my past craziness, um, because I want to move on for that life all the other men that are behind me. I want to really want to get into some sort of job that's going to be beneficial for me and other people. But I'm going to just put it in a pipeline and hold that and then that's in the pipeline definitely. But as 
the stands, I'm just going to focus on my recovery, focus on continuously getting better. Um, I think it's not been easy for me lately. Came and left in the dark, living in a limbo. It's not easy. But my man, I've been through worse. I can get out of that. Anyway, I'm going to love you, ladies.